In this video, I'll show you how to easily create business cards, whether you're a business owner or if you're a designer creating for clients. The process is super simple and I'll show you everything step by step, so feel free to follow along. The first thing that you're gonna wanna do is use the link down below and this is gonna take you to Canva. If you didn't know, Canva is one of the best platforms for all things design related. It's basically like Photoshop where you can design anything but except they have a free plan. They also have a pro plan, which we are on right now. And I think this is very worth it because it's one more affordable than something like Photoshop. And plus you get access to a bunch of really professional templates and elements. So as you guys will see later on, we'll have access to both free and paid. But for you guys, it's totally fine to just start with the free plan and then upgrade as you go along. So if you guys click on the link down below, you guys will actually get a free trial to their pro plan. But basically what we wanna do from here is create a design. So we'll click on this on the top right hand corner. And as you guys can see, you can create anything on Canva, whether it be a Facebook post, Instagram post, even a YouTube thumbnail and YouTube banner. Really the options are endless and you can also create a custom size but for this I recommend that you guys actually search up business card on here because this is gonna allow you to choose the standard sizing so I'll go ahead and type in business card and now it's gonna ask you whether you want a business card landscape or portrait for me let's say I want to have a horizontal business card so I'll go ahead and choose landscape but for you guys go ahead and choose whatever option you want they have a bunch of other things to choose from now I know this looks big on the screen right now but don't worry when you guys print this out it is gonna be the actual size of a business card so it should be able to fit in your pocket so now what we want to do is is select a template. You guys can start from scratch, but I don't recommend that as a total beginner. They make it super easy on Canva for you to just click on a template, change some of the information. And yeah, it's very, very easy to create a professional business card within minutes. So as I scroll through here, you guys can see that some of them have the crown icon right here. And so for those, you will have access to that if you have Canva Pro, but if not, they have a bunch of free templates that are also really good. You guys can also just put any words in the search bar for you to get specific business cards. So right here, they give some examples. So a modern business card for a commercial real estate agent. And so, yeah, let's just go with that and then see what kind of templates it gives me. So let's say I want to go for something like this, right? All I have to do is just click on it. And from there, I could choose to apply to both pages. So I'll go ahead and click on that. But they also suggest some other things that are more similar. So I can go ahead and scroll through even further. But let's say I like this one, right? I can go in and start editing it. So if I want to change this text, for example, all I have to do is just double click on it and then I could change the text. I can also just drag it around by clicking on it and then dragging like so. So let's say I want to shorten this and then let's say I want to put it in the middle right here. The great thing about Canva is it actually gives you these guidelines that you can drag to. And you can see that's kind of off center right now. So what I could do is actually just click on this right here. And then now it's gonna be aligned to the middle. Same thing with this, I could go ahead and align this to the middle by clicking on alignment and then just drag this underneath my name. And if I want to remove an element, so let's say this one right here, I could just go ahead and click delete. And let's say I wanna move this house icon right here. And if we wanna move all these things at the same time, what we could do is actually just click and drag over it. And so now it grabs all of them and and what I could do is I can group it or I could just click and drag and it'll drag all of it. If I wanna change the font, I can just click into it and then go right here. As you can see, they have some recommended fonts, but they also have some other ones that you could choose from. Let's say that I like DM Sans. So what I can actually do here is just click and drag over the rest of the text. And then if I change it to DM Sans, it changes it for all of them. And same thing for color. If I wanna change that, I just have to go into the text and then I can change the font right here. And if I click right here, I have a color wheel where I can add a new color or I could just choose from any of the default ones that they have. There's so many other options. You guys can make it italicized. You guys can underline it, strike through. You can make it a bullet point. You can make the spacing different. You can add effects and animate it. Yeah, I highly recommend just messing around with that. Moving on to the next thing, I wanna show you guys the elements. So right here on the left-hand side, you click on elements. And for here, you have access to a bunch of different graphics, shapes, anything that you want to add. So let's say I want to add a social media handle. So what I could do is add an Instagram, right? So I'll search up Instagram. Right here, it'll ask me if I want a graphic or photo photo or frame. So I could just go ahead and click on the graphic see all. And now they're going to give me a bunch of different options. Again, you guys can go with the pro ones or you guys can go with the free ones. Obviously the pro ones are going to be a little bit more advanced. So if you're designing a bunch of things throughout the year, I highly recommend getting the pro plan. It's very, very worth the money in my opinion. But yeah, once I go ahead and I add it, I can go ahead and resize it. And then again, just drag it anywhere I want on the screen. So let's say I want to have it at the bottom here. I can go ahead and align it with the rest of the icons. And then I could just add some text right here. I could either choose the default textiles or I could use some of their templates that they have if you scroll down. But what I'll do here is I'll actually just go ahead and grab this text and then I'll just duplicate it over. And then from here, I'll be able to write it. And yeah, if you guys want, it's super customizable in terms of the font inside the text as well. So let's say I wanna bold this right here, but I wanna keep the rest unbolded. I would just have to highlight it. And right here, I can click on bold. And so now everything here is unbolded, but this one is. So yeah, super customizable. Again, I highly recommend that you guys just mess around with it. Right here on the left-hand side, you guys can go to brand. And this is gonna allow you to set up your brand template. If you go to 
uploads, you guys can upload your own photos or videos. If you go to draw, you guys can literally just draw on it manually. And yeah, there's so many other things that you can do with it. And once you're done, go ahead and click on share right here. So if you're working with a client, you can add their email to this so that they can collaborate with you and download it. Or you guys can just print it yourself by clicking right here. And then they're gonna ask you how you wanna print. So just put in business card. And then I chose the business card landscape. So I'll choose that. And one thing that I forgot to actually do is edit the back. So this is page two right here. This is the back of your card. And if you go to the settings, you can see that this is the front and this is the back. So just make sure that you don't forget about that and you edit that as well. And yeah, from here, you guys can just choose from any of these settings. I recommend just going with the default settings, whatever they have. And yeah, from there, you guys can choose how many you want and then click on continue where they'll deliver it to your location. So yeah, that's pretty much it for how to create professional business cards really easily using Canva. I hope this video was helpful for you. And if it was, please be sure to leave a like and subscribe for more videos just like this. Here on this channel, we make a lot of how-to guides and tutorials like this. So if you guys wanna stay tuned, make sure to subscribe and hit that bell notification. Again, we'll leave a link down below to Canva for you guys to get a free trial to the Canva Pro. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.